Well, we've got Shane on TV here with Chris and Ellington, so a 2-1 win. What your thoughts on the game? Uh, yeah, enjoyable opening day. Um, always a, an occasion, especially when you know we know um, the quality Barnet have got. I, I saw a, a, a tweet, I think it was, that was sent out uh, by the Vanarama um, National League about the, the size and quality and depth of the Barnet squad uh, earlier on today. And, um, so it was always going to be a tough game for us, always going to be stretched and challenged at times. Um, but um, but you know this is this is when we're at our best as a club. I thought the fans were fantastic, created a really good atmosphere at the Shea, and uh, a really good opening day for us. Yeah, as you say, a lot of people would have been predicting Barnet to do to win the league this year, and, and then to, to beat them two on the opening days. It couldn't get much better than that. Yeah, well, I mean, let's be honest about it. People will still be predicting Barnet to to win the league, um, and on the balance of, of squad quality, size, and depth, that they probably should. So. Um, but then when you take that into account, it, 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 uh, uh, it suggests that it's a pretty decent result on our part. And I think, um, you know, it's only one game. It's the opening day. We've got a, a lot more football to be played and there'll be a lot of ups and downs along the way. But I think with that kind of resilience, the organisation, the hard work, all of those things that are associated with the Halifax Town team. But then the clinical nature of the first goal and the, um, you know, great to see Adam get a goal on his debut for the second. Um, with that type of clinical nature, when we do put the ball into the opposition box, then you know that should stand us in good stead. So, um, so there's lots of positives. Still, a lot that we need to work on. Um, we didn't maintain possession anywhere near as much as as we wanted to. We were, you know, a little bit hasty in trying to break a line and and exploit their high line. Um, so we've got to be better at that. But um, but listen can't take it away from the lads they, they work their socks off and they deserved um, uh, they definitely deserve to celebrate today of course looking at the first half fairly even both sides limited to, to half ch chances really and, and Sam Johnson of course with a, with a rare shot on goal yeah 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 it was great wasn't it yeah um, but yeah I think listen Barnet have played really well up to the edge of our box and and they've put an awful lot of balls into our box to be fair but then really Sam's had one save to make where he's parried it and they've picked up the rebound and scored and then from memory, um, there was, I think it was Kabamba's header late on, um, which, which just went wide of the goal, which he probably, he probably feel he should have done better with. Um, but other than that, considering the amount of possession, considering the territory they've had, um, you know, we've not been unduly concerned with, um, with having Sam having to pull off save after save after save. So, you know, that's what we want to be. We want to, at this stage of the season, we want to demonstrate a really solid base to build from. Um, we know there's there's injuries. The squad is a little bit threadbare at the moment. So, you know, the least we can do is be hard working, well organised, and resilient, and um, and we'll definitely be that. Um, and if we can maintain that kind of clinical nature in and around the opposition box, then then we'll be all right. Yeah, we got off to a perfect start in the second half. Aidan George doing all the hard work down the right hand side, and then and Cook with a with a finish to equal that. Uh, Aidan did excellent to get down the side of him, and and what a really good ball across the box and and Cookie with a fantastic clean finish um, and that's what the lads are doing in training and you know we've, we've, we're have we've focusing on trying to help them transfer that into games because we're not always that clinical um, but they, they can do it they do it repeatedly in training sessions and we put them in those types of positions over and over again um, so really pleased for, for Cookie and, and Aidan that it, it paid off because uh, they deserve it, you know. They work hard. They put themselves out there week in, week out, and um, and they deserve some reward for it. Of course, it was a, an unfortunate goal to concede. Obviously, took a deflection. Sam's made the save, but just no one there to finish, uh, to clear it away. But then, obviously, Adam, with it, as you said, with a goal on his debut to put us back in front. Yeah, I think. Listen, Barnet deserved a goal at that stage. They were having, um, they started to have a little bit of a spell, and and they'd had uh, spells in the game where we had to drop in and and work hard and be compact. And um, I know. Dean, I think he's he's done fantastically well at Barnet, and I expect him to have another good season with them. And I know he'll be disappointed they haven't made more of the possession and the territory they've had. But again, you know, people come to the Shea, and and that's what they expect. That's the minimum they expect. Really, is um, is a hard working, well organised team. We are that, but let's not mistake that for for having a lack of quality because. We've shown at moments Andrew Oluwabor, he's been a threat. Cookie with his finish, Aidan George. I uh, thought Owen Bray, when he went on, started to get hold of the ball for us and help us build. 
Um, obviously, Adam Senior and Adam Adatoro on the two outside uh, defensive positions both stepped in with quality at times and we need to build on that we need to display it more um, but there's certainly quality in this team to uh, to start to impose ourselves more on our positions but um, you know we're playing a, a top of the table team today and these games are decided by small margins they're decided by moments of quality um, you know we'll play other teams who expect to be up and around the top of the division and it'll be the, the moments that decide the game. And this is something that we're really focusing on is being better in those moments that can decide games and uh, and give us that uh, win by the odd goal. And, and thankfully today it, it paid off. Of course, as you say, being a team that was predicted to be up there and opposition doesn't, doesn't get much easier next week because we host Aldershot next Saturday. Yeah, Aldershot, yeah, they've had an interesting result today. So that'll be a tough game. You know, they will, they will present an awful lot of attacking threats as well, I've no doubt. Um, but listen, we will we will be even better prepared. We'll be more ready than we were uh, today. We've had to, to battle against some adversity in the last week in terms of um, getting people ready and getting people fit and ready to play in positions that they've not had a chance to practice throughout pre-season. Um, so we've got another week to make ourselves better again. Um, and that's what I expect us to be. So. Um, uh, look, it's one game. We've got an awful lot of football to play, but uh, um, but today we displayed the the absolute um, qualities that we've got in terms of of the heart and desire and uh, and that little bit of quality when it's needed. Thank you. Thanks, Luke.